live. We're live. In case there's any question. I'd like to open the Deerfield Planning Board meeting September 16th at uh, just past 7 o'clock in uh, the evening. And our agenda tonight is uh, look at minutes of previous meetings, review mail, take any uh, short public comment. And then we have some new business. It's an A&R at 71 Hillside Road. Then we have some old business uh, involving 198 Mill Village Road or Sun Mass Inc. Then we want to talk about potential changes to our zoning bylaws. Uh, then we're going to have a discussion about how our, our very own planning board functions, member responsibilities, participation, internal communication, general operations, assistance, and funding. And any other business not reasonably anticipated 48 hours prior to the posting of this meeting, uh, we'll set a date for the next meeting and we'll adjourn. Any changes, additions? I would like to change, just switch seven and eight, just to have the discussion of our function prior to our discussion of zoning bylaws, because I think it will lead into that. Okay. Um, so otherwise. Um, and before we get going, I think we'd like to do a little introduction. The, the town has is a new employee. Yes. So, Mike, you want to introduce yourself yes, and tell I'm, us what uh, your uh, position is? I'm Mike Lipinski. I'm your new assistant town administrator. Um, I worked and lived in Philadelphia area for about 20 years in local government management and recently relocated back. I was born and raised in Northampton, have deep roots in uh, Hatfield, Deerfield, in this Pioneer River Valley community. So it's great to be back. Um, I'm honored to work for the town of Deerfield and I hope I can provide you guys assistance. I have uh, pretty good experience with planning and zoning and mm -hmm. land use and uh, things like that down in New Jersey and Pennsylvania where I worked before. Um, getting used to the jargon and laws up here will take me a little bit of time, but I'm, I'm confident I can do that for you. And hopefully you can lean on me for support, uh, which uh, hopefully uh, is what you're needing right now. So. Oh, we need support. Right. So this is um, so this is the item that actually will this when we get to discussion of planning board functions, we'll get more with Mike and Diana are here uh, to talk more about that. But just to remind people that that was this uh, this position, we we wanted to make sure that's part of the job description was some support for the planning board, and I think zoning board too. And so we'll talk about how that's going to get. Structured, I guess. So. Have you met Mike prior to today? I have not. Why? Have you? Why weren't we a part of it? At least you. Part of finding, meeting Mike and interviewing Mike. And he's he's not really. He's our, not really our person. Well, I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm. So I went through an interview process for the select board, uh, hiring a. So you. Township administrator. And so his title is assistant administrator. Right. Right. So it, and just some of his duties, like it was back when we had a fuller, a larger staff here, they always supplied some services to us. But there'll be a different person that will actually do that, taking Priscilla's place, right? Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And and we can talk about that. Not gonna be, yeah. Right. Right. But I just thought if he was going to be That's helping it. us, that we should have had some input in the, who got hired. That's all. It, yeah. The select board hired him, so he works for the select board. And as we said, and I'm here to provide help support anyway, to the, yeah. you know, to the right. Board. But I'm just saying we we had zero input. I don't think we've got a new. Thing. I know I was in, involved in um, the job description. I was. We were asked. I think we all were, were asked to put some input into that so yeah I guess he's curious if they yeah but he'd be part of that um, so uh, let's uh, uh, also go down and introduce ourselves as six uh, six out of the seven planning board members here tonight so you want to just say who you are since and Mary Cloutier Rachel Blaine John Waite Paul Ellis Roger Sadowski Max Nippies 
And, and this is one of the places we fall down without support staff from the administration. We need a name tag for Anne Mary, but eventually. You should probably turn eventually. around so people know. <laughs> I mean, you know, kind of like with Anne, I want well, we to should, sympathy with her right, that we don't in, have. In, uh, <laughs> solidarity. I thought it was on both sides, okay. <laughs> All right, let's try an A and R. Um, okay. Actually, any, uh, is there anybody you want to say something or ask a question briefly that's about something that's not on the agenda? Any kind of public comment? Uh, all right, so let's look at an A and R at 71 Hillside Road. Is there someone here to talk about that? You want to come up to this? You want to come on up to the table, and I'll pull out. Uh, here, I got this. Watch. I'm looking for the, that's what I'm looking for. And Mary, you have the uh, thing, you can read it if you want, but. Uh, so we have a a and r application. Uh, applicants, Ronald and Marilyn Hebert. And um, 71 Hillside Road, and what they're asking, the plan shows survey of 17 acres, plus or minus, with two smaller parcels to be conveyed to a butters they're not building lots, and the remaining 15 or so acres uh, stays with the house at number 71. Um, is this it? Yeah. So let's pass around a few. Can I see that in a minute, John? Pass that to them, and we can see it. Yep. Okay, so if they want to. So Hillside Road is the frontage? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Um, while you're reviewing it, uh, if you didn't have an advance, I had a chance to look at it. Oh, good. Um, so I can provide some comments. It, it appears that um, the owner of the 17 acre lot is allocating land to the budding residents. That's right. Uh, in, and you can please fill me in on this, but it looks like mm -hmm. in a preparation to make things that weren't conforming, conform That's to the correct. Um, our attorney mm -hmm. advised us to have a boundary to the right. right. because we hadn't had one done for many years. We've owned the land for 40 years. Uh -huh. So as uh, this was Marianne Ballisky in uh, Greenfield, and as she started out and was uh, uh, marking things off, uh, neighbors, yeah. suddenly came out and realized they were encroaching on our property. Uh, the the uh, smallest piece uh, houses a fairly permanent shed. And the larger piece uh, that goes with, by the horse farm was cleared. Uh, this not to move, and unfortunately we got a lot of their horse manure. So in both, cases, in both cases, the uh, butters were mortified and also willing to go ahead and purchase their little bits. So that, that's basically the story for that. That's so a it's, a, it's pretty much a lot line <laughs> adjustment to an existing lot, uh, giving conformity to what was a non-conforming use. There was encroachments of a shed, and I think the barn in the back on the other lot doesn't meet the setback which would be required if they ever sold it. So it would be a pre-existing non-conforming use. Um, however, to, to make all of the lots uh, conforming, the adjustments are made to the lot lines. The three lots now will conform to the zoning in that uh, zone agricultural residential. They all have frontage uh, and there's really no new building envelope that would be established. So there's a dash, there's a dashed line right down here on That's the right proposed. side. That's yep. And one going up there. So those are the two proposed lines. Yeah. Okay. And they're, this is yes, they're quite close to one another. And this is in RA, residential agriculture, or, or C? No, it's agriculture, agriculture. residential it's agriculture. RA. RA, it's RA. Okay. So the frontage is already not. Yes, yes, there's no longer that that area that 17 acres is non-developable because yeah. there's no access to it. Yeah, and it's low. So. So are you are you yeah, the one that lives at 71? Yes. Yes. Okay. But John, those lots could have been developed before the current. 
Right, right. this isn't affecting that at all. Yeah. So well, you were saying they're well, not conforming. The they probably were conforming at one time. Right. So it's a pre-existing Right, the front oh, right. remained 40 same. years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Back before you straightened things out. So not, not before so I straightened them out. So your, so your property, how do you get the 200 feet there if you're trying he, to change he, it? He doesn't. We're, we're not trying to change it. Okay. They right. have That's 154 and they're going to keep 150. Okay. Yeah. So it's really just the back lots. And I don't understand what's not conforming about them. This one here. The encroachments actually. Oh. So the shed that you see that's in the little triangle. Yeah. That's on their land. Okay. And they're deciding to sell it angle. to them so that they don't have to tear it down. Well, right? yes. Uh, in, uh, in this case, the gal wants to sell her property and right. her home, which when the bank sees that, they're yeah. going to take exception. Exactly. Oh, exactly. So. so in the other one, the, and I'm not sure about the barn, but it appears that that would not meet the setback requirements for that yeah, large we, of a structure. We didn't discuss that. OK. Oh, so well, this, this property's not going with this. Yeah, this, this, barn, this barn looks like it would be setting back enough just from from a rough measurement here. Like a small corral there. Okay. Yeah. That's they need so more the, room for their horses. <laughs> that, that's what we So were. this section okay. on the right side is the only piece that's being, the, the, the little pie slice and this big piece out right. the back. That's it's about two acres altogether. Yeah. And, and so that has no connection with the front pieces. None. That front no. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. Hmm. So there's nothing built on this uh, 1.846 acres here. No. Oh, no, no. It's, 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 it's uh, open ground. Open, well, more open than it used to be. It used to be all trees. <laughs> mm -hmm. So all we're doing is, is saying that you can make those two lots. We're not, then those other property owners, after they buy it, have to come back and take away that property lines if they want. Yeah, when they sell. When they, whenever they do their transaction. All right. Yeah, so the, the approval, I, approval not required, I'm still new to this, but I would ask that the board uh, put a condition on a decision that the record plan be filed with the new adjusted lot lines and that we get a copy of it, that the file that is complete. That seems reasonable, of course. Well, that's, yeah. well, that, I think that's, that's standard. standard. That Does that happen anyway? Procedure. That would be up to you guys to file it, though. We can't. Yes. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We, oh, we just can. so that we get receipt that the, the record plan is filed. Right. Oh. So that we can establish yeah, we can the new lot lines so in our GIS system. Yeah. I that's, think it's to their benefit, uh, not to the town. It's typical that's stuff. happened whenever we have a. <clears throat> yeah, that's, again, it's that's not, part of the process. Condition. It's up to, they're, they're probably going to do it, otherwise, they wouldn't have come to us. If you. So okay, yeah, and I'm sorry if I don't know the correct procedure. No. Making a condition. When, when you get the ANR plan signed from here, then you take it and take care of it and yes. you get it done. We don't have to ask you to so prove so that you did it. We okay. don't need that at all. But uh, if you wish to have the amended plan, we certainly would. It would be helpful for us just for possible. internal purposes so that we have a record of the, the, new, the, new, the new lots lot. for yeah. our GIS. How does the. How does the uh, um, how do the, the does back the office there, how do they get it? See, I guess it doesn't because we sign off on it, but we actually don't know if they take it to the courthouse or not. Hmm. Yeah. That is an interesting But somehow the, tax, somehow the tax records will change. I don't know. They always do. I don't know. Well, you drop a copy off to the town clerk. and yeah. We drop a copy of this, but yes. not the one. Does the court, when they approve it, do they let us know it's official now? Because until the court does yeah, it. Yeah, they, they, the, when they file it with the county, uh, assessor, yeah. then that gets recorded here. Okay. But I, so, yeah, just, the so, just so we have a local, a local we copy of it. We would know that there was a problem with that by now. I mm. think because most people yeah. just don't do it. Right? Okay. Any other questions? Like it does this meets what we look at, which is frontage and uh, July 26, and, uh, 2019. It's not changing much. And who is Jean Baptiste? He, my son, who actually owns the property. I see. So you're here representing yes, him. Yes, we, we filed the application. So. Okay. That's a historic name, Baptiste. So they're, they're, they're filing yeah. in his Who also behalf. owns all, all this, too. So I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. You sign? So do you own 71 as well, or does your son own it? 
he my owns son owns the whole package. He, he owns now. all the property. Yeah, it says, he owns says that. that he's the owner. The back lot, back acreage, and two and front, two three front lots. All section. the frontage is his now. It's his home, a rental property, and our home. Takes and he the signed the. Uh, he signed the application as the owner. Or oh, okay, good. Some someone yeah, we got someone signed. <laughs> all right. Do we have we a motion to endorse? Um, I move that we endorse the ANR for um, 71 Hillside Road. I'll second the motion. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Oppose? Abstain? 600. Mm -hmm. 16, mm -hmm. 9, 16, 19. I don't, um, did anybody see the, um, the disc that came with it? Um, did you do a, uh, the digital. Oh, there was a disc with it. Oh, yes. Was it, with, um, it was with the package. Yeah. So I'll make a note to uh, make sure we get the digital one. Oh, I don't see it in there. I, I gave it to Priscilla. Yeah. <laughs> I know, just sign for all my We want to give them the mylar and one copy and we'll give the other two assessors and owners. That's what John just said. You want them folded up, John, rolled up? Or? I guess folded since it's easy. Actually, it's better than you. So if you give them the... Yes, we did already. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. New post? Yeah, good luck. Thank you. All right.
So we have a August 5th meeting? These are August the 5th, yeah. yeah. I wasn't at this one. Are we not? Oh, yeah. We weren't on my no. so you had to take care of it. What's that again? I was Rachel not, was not there. Was There's not only there. four of us. I wasn't there either. Yeah, got you and Anne, Anne Mary off there. So you gotta Rachel is. I'll down. move Rachel down to the. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Oh yeah, I absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Take yeah, this. I, take this uh, other minutes out. Uh, wait a minute. That was no. That no. That's. I don't remember. I said, yeah, I think that shouldn't I be there. I said that we did not improve any minutes. Yeah, I think that comes out. That's. That I, the previous. I work on a pre. We work on yeah. one and work forward, and it didn't get taken out. Second sentence from the bottom, did um, Max, is that accurate? No, uh, my point was we were hiring attorneys from inside 128. That's right, you were more about why not more local. Why not? It wasn't local that they were attorneys citing to anything. So, see the end of that sentence, Paul? Boston, Bronx. I'm sorry, say that this. That, that's what I had written down in my notes. I know, I know but I think it was wrong. If that's I, wrong, I we'll take it out. Yes, why don't we use local attorneys? Because currently most of our attorneys are from out east. Right, and they're skewing everything. No, no. They, it's not no. about skewing. Just, okay, all right. We're paying point. them to drive on Route 2. Okay, so, so cross out from where to where. So right to the local attorney. Yeah, I yeah. We, have, right? <laughs> we have, I'll take that out. Currently most of the attorneys we use or from far away. Okay. I mean, we, yeah. that was All right. Problem. Okay. So you can put from far away. I mean, it's good because they probably know more about what's from going far on. away. It well, I think, house, it, it's, but it's a question you raised, which is yeah. no, okay. All right. We'll put that in there. It's like, why do we always use Samson and Weston? And they're based in. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a great point. <laughs> <laughs> well, we yeah, of course he does. All right. If they weren't, you know, on the other side, whatever it's called. Um, all right, so that, and um, <laughs> just quickly, because I was going to go through the stuff, but uh, how, how the storage, the propane storage, what, what size are you planning to go to? What, uh, and I was confused. Just to correct minutes. Oh, the, the proposed plan has two 30,000 gallon tanks, so for a total of 60,000 gallons of storage. And, and how okay. much was the original? 2,000. 2,000. I think. Um, in your original plan? 
Yeah, I think so. Because um, our minutes say you're going from 2,000 to 60,000. No, 30,000. Well, two thirty. Two, right. right. Two th yeah, 60,000. So wait, wait, wait. Where does there, there were multiple well, iterations as wrong. the mechanical designers came to terms with the fact that that gas moratorium is real and well, then that we were going to heat entirely two. with the so propane and then the implications Oh, you mean it's supposed to be 60? It's supposed to be 60. Yeah. Yeah. Propane storage. Oh, I'm too. sorry. I missed And the engineers always want it more and more and more fail safe. 30,000 All right, good. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. The answer. So okay. uh, if I could interrupt. For my edification, please, could you introduce yourself? No, no, no. We haven't started this yet. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Okay. Yeah, correcting the minutes from last time when I was here. I got it. I'm just correcting the minutes. Okay, Don't I'm sorry. Ahead. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, so with those one, two, three, four edits, are we good with the minutes from the last meeting? I, oh, I also adjusted it just so you know. It, it, the actual minute said to be either the third or the tenth, and so I changed it to what's actually tonight just like because that. of that. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, just cut through the right just <laughs> cut just cut out the garbage and go to the matter of fact. Cut to the facts. So the three of us were here, so we should uh, we should vote. Okay, you good with the minutes? Well, are you striking the last? Sentence. Yeah, you yep. change that to just why don't we use local attorneys? Yeah. Well, yeah. The, yeah, currently most of the attorneys are far away. Why don't we use local ones? Okay. Because we're probably paying for its stay at Red Roof. Uh huh. Driving back and forth three hours each way. Pro bono. All right, so I uh, will we accept the minutes as with those edits. Okay, so you making a motion, John? Yeah. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Oppose, abstain. Abstain, one, two, three. So we got to. So it's three, zero, three. Zero, three. three. Nice. All right, next old business, 198 Mill Village Road. Sun mashing site plan revision. So I just want to um, say, because we were just here, um, that the last meeting you came to just present a potential um, plan, and then we had um, we had made a motion to hold a public hearing. Um, on the stormwater portion that might coincide with the select board's public hearing on the new, new propane storage, um, the date to be determined. So uh, we have not done any action on that. Correct, and, and with good reason. Uh, Chris Chamberlain from Berkshire Design Group uh, in Northampton, representing Sons Mass Inc. Uh, my intention was to uh, have plans into you within two weeks after that meeting. Uh, we ended up in a little bit of back and forth with the fire chief regarding a couple of items that impacted the site plan uh, that relate to those propane tanks. And so the last thing that I wanted to do was to show up with plans that were knowingly out of date. Um, so we didn't get those plans into you until last week. Um, they've also gone to the peer reviewer, which was, uh, um, I, I got an, a message from Weston and Samson saying that, that Kip had reached out to them, um, letting them know that we would be submitting new plans and that the intention was to have the peer reviewer look them over. Um, so now those plans are in, um, the, they're with the peer reviewer. I believe he was going to reach out to someone at the planning board to just make sure that they had direction to to pursue that review, um, and then this will lead up to the public hearing to revise the stormwater permit, is my understanding. And, and then you normally get an estimate of what it would be, right? Um, typically. The, the cost of the peer review. I, I can assure you that, that we'll gladly pay for the peer review, whatever's um, whatever necessary to, okay. to verify the plan. But uh, and the that's, reason that's why one reason why I'm, I'm here today, even though we don't have a public hearing yet, is to make sure okay. that all of those I's get dotted and T's gets crossed. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we just reached out directly to Weston and Sampson, because they had done the previous peer review, so instead of putting this out to bid, bringing in a whole new one, we felt it was fair and, and you know, ex expedient to do that, so that's why we did that. So we should ask them for an estimate. They can't do that until they see this, so now they're probably in a position to give you an estimate. And, uh, I believe so. And then we could ask for a deposit from you guys and move ahead. Correct. Um, so, and in terms of that select board process, which again is the... Um, so, just to, so on that oh, one, sure. I, so I have an 
I haven't been notified, and unfortunately, Kip's not here, so he might have been the one talking about this, but it sounds very straightforward. So um, have you been involved in this at all, Mike? No, so I would ask that um, if you could explain to me the peer review process. It's my understanding that it doesn't happen until the estimate's provided, right? Normally. Normally. And, and in this case, it's an ongoing. It's a revision, right. It's a revision yeah. to a plan, and, yeah. and Wesson and Sampson's familiar with it, so that makes right. sense right. that they'd be the peer reviewer right. and that they're not going right. to substantially increase their costs. Right. That would cause the applicant any right. uh, undue hardship. So um, that's my understanding. All right. So, so, but the town, we did get the, the plans? Prior to we we received week? plans on September last Friday. Last Friday, Thursday, Friday, but September twelfth yeah. it stamped. So that's mm -hmm. good. So that's Thursday, Thursday they came in. We stamped them in. And the the uh, putting this on your agenda is not to have a hearing tonight, right? But just to get you familiar with uh, what the revisions are, and um, Chris can. Well, I think I think that what what actually happened is that we thought. Find out what the selectmen are doing with their yeah. their propane tanks and see if we couldn't put them together. We've already voted to have a, a public hearing for the stormwater, so mm -hmm. we we're hoping that it would be paid, made it up with the select board. So, okay, but this is a revised plan, right? Newly uh, revised. I think <clears throat> comparing the plan that I saw originally and the one that came in, there's some substantial changes to the site. Uh, there's a building that's being demolished so we, as we speak. We had a presentation last month. Okay. So we've, we're kind of up on that. Okay. Which right. In, in advance of um, submitting the, the yeah. plans, we did show up um, uh, on the agenda last month just to give an overview of what those plans would be oh, and great. Thank direction you. on what the okay. process Thank would be you. from there. Yep. All right. So then you did say you wanted to say about this select board and the propane. Right. So in order to install the propane tanks, the first step is uh, to apply for what's called a land license through the select board, which essentially, uh, I don't know all the particulars, the legal um, uh, basis, but it, it essentially designates that this piece of land is allowed to have storage of propane, which then leads into an application process through the state fire marshal's office as to the detailed design of that plan. Um, but the select board does uh, require a public hearing in order to review that application. Um, that application uh, requires a signature to the fire chief, which I got about two hours ago. So I'll be back here in the morning to submit that and get that process okay. going as well. Um, we're certainly happy to go and attend one joint public hearing, uh, if that's more efficient for everybody, but we'll, we'll be back twice if we need to be. I have a question, Chris. Yes. So if it's a 500 gallon tank or just a residential small tank, they have to go through the same process? No, there are, there are two limits and I, I can't uh, remember specifically. That's fine. What That's what I thought but because of the size of the tanks. Yeah, it's, it's the size of the storage um, and that triggers both the land license process. Okay, you um, answered my question. Yeah. Thanks. Absolutely. Yeah, I think 10,000 is the magic number. It may be different for the two different pieces. Yeah. And, and did you say that the, the fire department had a problem with something with it? Uh, they reviewed the plan, and uh, I, I definitely wouldn't qualify it as problems, um, but in understanding what their strategy would be to, an, to attack a fire at this location, mm -hmm. uh, there were some improvements that are going to make the site a lot safer um, in terms of um, providing backup water sources and um, more efficient means of getting water on the tanks. Um, essentially, the goal is to keep the tanks cool if there is a fire or somewhere else on the site so that it doesn't create a, an issue with them, um, which was fascinating from a technical standpoint of, now, of how I, they're I'm trying to remember now, that is, is propane and, and natural gas, do they both sink to the bottom or are they different oh, from one to the other? You're asking the wrong kind of engineer okay. to, to go on record with the answer to that question. <laughs> yeah. Okay, just curious. I thought, yeah. I, in my mind somewhere, I thought that they were different. So. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I, I can say that the, the design, and we've been working with a couple of different consultants on it, meets all the requirements of NFPA 58, which is the, uh, the uh, code that governs this sort of storage. Okay. All right. Is there other type of fuel on the site other than propane? Um, there is an existing natural gas connection, mm -hmm. um, and 
so they're, um, the reason that we need to do the propane is because of the, the natural gas moratorium. We're not allowed to increase the uh, import of natural gas over what the site is currently using. There's natural gas on that road? Uh, not, it actually comes off Child's Cross Road um, through the wetland area in the back and into the back corner really? of the greenhouse. Yeah. From About the, the worst spot on the site it could be for us, but that's where it is. They must have brought it in originally for the greenhouses when they put them up. Uh, must have been, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it certainly isn't anywhere near any of the um, older buildings. Yeah. And so the, the idea is to continue to use the amount of natural gas that we're allowed to and then supplement the remainder with propane. Um, so, so last month we, um, or yeah, August, we said we want to do a uh, public hearing for the stormwater, but not a new site plan review. I was there, right. so. Um, and I'm just, I just want to. Okay. We ran maybe take that up again since three of you weren't there and the one that was here isn't here. Um, so we looked at them. So actually, so I just passed them out. So I think that's one of the, that's what we want to determine right now and then set the dates. Uh, that's, setting right. dates is, sounds great. Sounds that's what to I me. think we need to do. Is there anything else that you think we need to do? Or? Um, do you have any idea when the selectmen will be doing their um, open? I do yeah. not. I know that there is, I believe, a 14-day advertising period for them, the same as it is same for the planning us. board. Okay. Um, uh, but I don't have their schedule memorized. Because we, we did vote to try to get it with them. I don't know if we need to. We need to revote it or something. So you what guys is the felt that we needed to look at the stormwater again? Yeah. Um, you know, part of it is, is um, so my notes, the new entrance and the exit and things, but it's... Um, Consolidating parking spaces, demolish a barn, reduce the size of the new building. Um, but some of the slopes seem to be changing. Yeah, and I mean, we the, wanted the, the peer review to look at them. The biggest and point of concern was that because we shrunk the size of that new building, we also shrunk the size of the stormwater basin that's managing the runoff from that roof. So I think yeah. the, the goal of the board was to just make sure that got reviewed and is, is okay. correct from an engineering yeah. standpoint. And then, of course, you're moving the septic tank system somewhere. Uh, also, correct. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's not, that doesn't have anything to do with the uh, stormwater. But right, it does not, change the plan, though. But it does, yeah. yeah. So the impervious area changed, so that's why you're changing. It did, yes, yeah. and that's um, the, the table that I provided with all yeah. of those calculations. Those tanks got to be pretty good size. I was wondering how that would come into play, but after you, what you said, I'm sure they're not going to mount the space that you freed up. Um, right, and you know, um, below them there'll be a couple of piers that they sit on, but um, but we'll put are they tall stone. tanks or long tanks? Uh, I mean, they're they're long, yeah, okay. they're 60, so 65 feet long. You're not going to be able to if they float, they're just going to go. Pardon? You're not going to strap them down so they don't they, float. Right, so they will be. Um, so there are two concrete footings that come up, and then the tank has welded saddles on it that will bolt down to. Right. If the river comes up, oh. they're going down the river. Uh, with the size of the footings that we have to put on, the tank itself actually, surprisingly, is almost enough weight to balance out the, uh, the buoyancy. Um, and then you add those concrete footings on there. Um, yeah, the, they'll stay. It won't be a good day, but they'll, they'll stay put. That's yeah, a good point because that's what happened to a lot of tanks. Yeah. Yeah. So if they were empty, a lot of, a lot of those 500-gallon <laughs> tanks just went. Right. Yeah. yeah. The the walls on the, and I, I I was looking at the the weight itself when we were considering whether we'd go underground, and in which case that that was an even bigger concern there. Um, yeah. And it's the the weight of the tank almost by itself is enough to hold it down. Um, yeah. Just oh, the, you know how much it weighs just out of curiosity. A lot. Okay, uh, that's right. I, like so, I mean, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Between fifty and a hundred thousand, I think, pounds. But you're reducing parking. Did you say you're reducing? Uh, parking spaces are the same. The because um, we're demolishing that barn in the front, we're able to rationalize the parking lot a little better, so it's a little more efficient. It's more efficient. Yeah, yeah. changing it. Yeah. So here's what he had last time, and he actually says that the hardscape, you know, is actually being reduced by yeah. five thousand square feet. But Part of that is the propane tanks, and you're not counting that as hard space, hardscape. Right, because we're not paving underneath it. So I mean, it's, it's not grass, but it's. I know. Um, 
But in the stormwater modeling, we account for that space differently than we do grass. It produces more runoff than grass, but not as much as pavement. Okay. More runoff than grass, but not as much as pavement. Right. All right, so I'm still good. I don't, again, I don't think enough things changed on the site plan to, to require a whole other review there. But, and, and then some of these issues will come up under the stormwater. Mm -hmm. Review anyway. Mm -hmm. Got it. So this was. The so I th think we could just schedule hours for next month, yeah. and but maybe in the next um, couple days or so, if we learn, do you know anything else about the select board? Yeah. Do you want to make a motion to accept Weston M. Sansom as the uh, peer yeah. review? Yeah, yeah, we did that you last did that? month. Okay. Yeah. And it, that's again, because they did the original. They did the original. Okay. Yeah. Original site plan. Fine. So that's done. Um, so now it's a matter of setting. So if they got this last week or the other day, so we have to just tell them to start. So they might need. Well, we need at least the two weeks to post. I would think they need a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. So normally we would just do it at our next meeting. Next, our next meeting might be less than two weeks though, because um, we want to uh, get back on the first Monday schedule. Yes. yes. Oh, that'd um, be three weeks from tonight on the seventh. Oh, so that I guess it's, the it's, up to the, it's up to the administrators whether they, that's enough time to advertise, I suppose. Uh, October 7th is in three weeks? Correct. Do you guys, is, are you available to meet well, on that's October That's what we said. That's our next schedule meeting. That's our meeting. next schedule so that's meeting. We would okay, prefer so to have, have a set schedule? We'd first Monday of First every Monday of every month, and okay. we would prefer to keep it that way. Um, that's, that's enough time to advertise. And there's no holiday? Well, there will, be the the, one, there will be the Monday after that, but not, not that. Columbus Day is yeah, the Monday. Is, yeah, is the 14th. Columbus Day yeah. is the 14th. So, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. And it's also Indigenous Peoples Day, according to this. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah. So I think that usually we can post within a day or two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that gives us the, the two weeks. Great. Um, and at this point, I think we just got to let the select board do their. Their thing, That's unless fine. I mean, we're there and they could. And I'm coming back for conservation commission the two days before that anyway. So, all right, um, you know, just they, like we did over the winter. If they wanted to schedule it on the seventh as well, you're scheduled for CC on the fifth. Uh, we expect to be, yeah. On the no, I, I, I said two days. That was um, that was an exaggeration. Uh, October third, I third. think, is their next meeting. About this. Again, small changes in the buffer zone. Um, well, it's it, it's complicated. <laughs> All right, but sometimes they impact the stormwater plan too. But right, we'll, it's we'll hear it's, from them. Yeah, it's nothing to do with any of the stormwater devices. Um, so <laughs> I try to make it quick. Um, in the front of the site, um, because there's a perennial stream across the street, there is riverfront zone. We had proposed utilities to run within the driveway. Um, in which case that activity is exempt from the Wetlands Protection Act. We don't have to ask permission to do it because it's within existing pavement. And now, um, because of some congestions in, uh, in the driveway and also coming to terms with how many conduits need to be run for the primary electric service, uh, and also talking with the water department, we've moved that uh, water connection out into the lawn area of what was uh, previously 196 Mill Village Road, um, and now that work, because it's vegetated land, even though it's lawn, is no longer exempt from the Wetlands Protection Act. Wow. It's still what, what's called a limited project, which, which is small impact, um, but we do need to get official approval that we're is allowed to. Is it covered to under a general permit? Um, this is uh, under a notice of intent through the Conservation Commission. And we already have a notice of intent, um, and DEP's ad advised. Is that adjacent board. residential lot privately owned, or do you own it? Uh, Does the applicant it's, own it? It's been merged onto the same lot. Okay. Um, uh, actually, the residences on both sides of the driveway have been merged into this lot. That was actually a condition of, of our approval. Got it. Complicated zoning background to that. Mm -hmm. It's a complicated piece of that. That it is. Gives me something to do. Yeah, <laughs> it's no shortage. Well, and this is this is well, it's a substantive change in some ways, 
it's not the footprint is more or less the same. Uh, right. The, the use is the same. The no. access is generally the same. Um, the access. Uh, is, uh, I just say it because we rearranged the parking changed. lot. Right. Right. We shoved all the parking over to one end. All and at one side. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. And a, a lot of good benefits. But right. From thirty thousand feet in terms of the numbers. Wider from yep. trucks and stuff. Yep. Yep. And actually, our, the last time your security guy was here, and he liked the new configuration at the entrance. Correct. Think, which our police like too. So. Right. That's it, great. Yeah, that, that guardhouse gives the guard the opportunity to speak with the driver of the incoming vehicle right. without letting them in the fence, um, because there's a fence between the guard and the incoming vehicle, and it allows them to speak with the exiting vehicle before they leave. Uh, it's, uh, I can't take credit for it, so I'll say it was a clever layout. Uh, Chris, I have a question. Yes. Um, the use, and this is just for my personal knowledge, really. Um, thank you for taking the time to let me do this, but the use is for cultivation only? Correct. All right. So there's no production of any type of product no. other than growing it? Um, Right. It's uh, essentially the activities that can be done under the cultivation license as right. opposed to the manufacturing license. Right. Students okay. In CC, I believe, is what it qualifies as. And they're all in. They're all in. But they're going to process the houses. Houses. They're, they're Well, gonna, that's the word right. process so, is funny. It fits under cultivation. Right. Minimal. Yeah, but they're they're going to cut the plants and yeah. trim and right. dry right. and. But it's not yeah, the ship them off. Right. Right. Not manufacturing. The they were, they're not making yeah. edibles, oils, right. or anything like that. Correct. You had something else? Uh, no, what was this gentleman's name back here? I was just curious. Uh, my name is Alex. Hey, Alex. Alex is. And you're with the. Uh, he's with us. He's with us. He's, he's with us. Oh, okay. He's <laughs> on, our, he's on our team. Oh, that's right. You're, yeah, okay. I was just trying to put it down as a guest. What was your last name, Alex? Well, no, he, he doesn't really have to report into us. He doesn't. Okay. All right. No, mind. People can free to come and sit and listen and don't have to be, oh, okay. we don't have to know who they are, we don't have to take their picture or anything. It's really, it's democracy. That we have. Um, so just start. No problem. No problem. We used to have it. Hey, let's move on. So um, so, I'll, uh, so we'll set a public hearing of October 7th for the uh, October 7th. stormwater. At what time? So that's a motion. At what time? 7 o'clock. Okay. 7 p.m. 7 o'clock. Any discussion? Who, nope. who made the motion again? I, sorry. John. I seem to John. motions to move. <laughs> and then Max seconded it. Oh, <laughs> Any other discussion? Kind of on my All those in favor? Oh. Aye. 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 Oppose, abstain. Great. See you on the seventh. And um, and if um, well, if if we can follow up with Samson Weston to see if they need something, they need More. an official thing from the town. Sometimes I talk to them, but. It, it, Talk to them. And um, I, I guess we do want an estimate from them. But we heard you say, move on. So, so right. is there an escrow posting that happens for the payment, or is it just billable? Normally, there's an escrow. We'd, so, we'd like to get an estimate from them, and then we'll bill um, Berkshire Design, I guess. You just don't sign your plan. Yes, we've been paying everything ourselves. Until it's paid up. Yeah. So, but you do take security. You've been paying yeah. it directly. Yeah. Yes, we've been paying. Okay. And again, this is because it's a revision and we're all been working mm -hmm. together. Normally, yep. we do get the deposit first and then ask them to do the work. Yeah. But, uh, no problem. Good. Great. See you, Thank you. Thank you in Chris. a couple weeks. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, he does. Okay. All right, so actually, um, so this is a time we'd like, I'm skipping down to eight, discussion of planning board function, member responsibilities, participation, internal communication, general office assistance, and funding. Um, Could I have 30 seconds? Is, is this have anything to do with what's number on the Number seven. Does, well, I think it's Could number seven, right? Seconds. As you know, last time I was here, as you know, Sons Mask. <laughs> um, my, I'm Richard Evans, Richard. counsel for Sons Mask. Right. Uh, they would like to be able to do a product manufacturer there. We've had this discussion a couple of times. It's not this is going to be on the agenda or after yes. this next and, time. And last time I was here, I suggested that we would draft a, a, a redraft the zoning bylaw to take care of that and some other odds and ends. I've done that. I've circulated. I've brought you copies tonight. Uh, I would like to leave them with you for your, your perusal. 
get back to me with any changes. It's my proposal that I'm going to uh, file these with the selectman on the 25th and ask him to refer it to you then for formal hearing and so forth. But between now and then, I welcome any tweaks or changes that, that you think are appropriate. That's my 30 seconds. Excellent. So you'll leave it here. So there was, while well, you're here, let me just ask. Yeah. So there was a potential miscommunication uh, but, but at uh, the select board, who you spoke to, I guess, since our last meeting. And two, two documents. they might have thought these were like sort of ready to go or something. And so I informed them that no, we had asked for your input because you know the subject, but that we're going to do a public hearing and we're going to go through some steps before they need to be reviewed by any attorney or anything like that. So, so that's where we're at is that now it's so the select board I think understands that. So it's back to the planning board because we're the zoning, we're in charge of the zoning. Yeah, the well, you'll hold the public, I mean, it's. I'll submit it to the select board, and they, they refer it to you, then you hold the public hearing. Well, it's already, re we started the process. We want to we want to change the marijuana bylaws. That's right. We said that, and you said you could help, and we said, yeah. great. Yeah, and I, right. that's why. So, so we've started the process. So the select board might refer it, they might not, we're going to continue with the process. Okay. And so okay. your notes are, are very well welcome. Good. Okay. I welcome your comments. Thank you so much, and thanks for letting me interrupt. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Baines. All right. What, what did... They gave us two different. There's two. One, there's one. There's one stapled and one not stapled. Oh, this is a one pager. One okay. is a one pager so and the other page. is more okay. detailed. This is a couple pages. Thank you. All right. So now, as we get in, as we start to discuss the internal workings of the uh, planning board, I'd like to ask our wonderful town administration staff to. Join us for this discussion. Um, yeah. Diana, thank you both for staying late tonight and being with us. Thanks for everything you do. Yes. <laughs> yeah, thank you for your service, really. So we have some, um, some stuff just at the planning board, that some of which came up because I was kind of out of touch a lot the past month and I realized that a lot of emails come to me and sometimes they, they don't go, if I don't pay attention to them, they don't go beyond. So we're gonna, so we want to kind of establish more of a, an order here, who does what and stuff. But a lot of that definitely has to do with what the town staff can do too. Mm -hmm. And as part of this discussion, I believe our um, Priscilla is changing. I don't know if you could tell us sort of the dates on that and the plans for that because she has been sort of our main yes. contact in a lot yes. of ways. So Yes, let me, so can I just take a second to summarize what we've, um, so we have made a presentation yes. to the select board and the Finance Committee at this point in terms of um, some of this information. So I would just share that with you at this time. Yeah. So we uh, went in, uh, in front of the Finance Committee. We have a special town meeting uh, coming up on September 30th. So that warrant has been posted. And um, on that warrant, we have some articles. Um, we had asked for money for the select board staffing. Um, we've also asked for money to be put into the planning board account back into your planning board budget where it used to be under planning services. You had a line um, in previous years that had been funded about seven or eight thousand dollars. So we've asked for that seven thousand five hundred to be put back in to your budget to be used for um, like contracted services like you were using Pat Smith or you could use another planner for services or even um, if you needed to use legal support services at the front end, you know, of things, um, any t we, we, it's not going to be, it's going to be in your budget, but um, it's just going to be support services for you, however you need to, to use those. So we've, um, I've spoken to Peggy Sloan at the, at the COG, and they're still in the process of hiring their la land use planner. So they don't have a replacement yet for Pat to mm -hmm. be able to offer you. Um, but she did say that, um, you know, they would support um, that effort if um, if and when somebody becomes available so I told them we would we would do that but in the meantime again there's other planners available you could use or other support so um, and then in addition to that we'd asked for um, more money in the inspections budget which is also your support staff so that's Priscilla's position currently Priscilla has been doing conservation commission um, she's been supporting you um, on mostly on the front end in terms of doing some scheduling and some um, creating your agendas and putting 
putting your materials together. Not so much, it seems, on the back end where writing your decisions, recording decisions, um, you know, doing the minutes, of course, you do, the, do those things. So it seems like some of those things um, are where the gap is now remaining, where Pat Smith has left. and. Um, you know, we, of course, we've had a few marijuana decisions. We've had a couple of solar decisions, and you know, we've had some some challenges in getting those completed and filed. <laughs> so, um, we recognize we need some support there. So, um, in addition to that, sh um, that position also does um, some of the work for the uh, Board of Health, but very minimal amount. Most of that work is done in our office by by our Pat um, in here. So. Um, what we've asked is for more money in that position. It's currently a grade three position. We'd like to see it be a grade four position. Um, we've asked for additional funds to be put into um, that position so we can hire somebody that has all of those, has building and land use support, would still support zoning, the inspections functions, and then really work along with Mike. Mike will be, um, you know, will work in the administrative office and support sort of the, the integration between the administration and land use functions and economic development and all those things we've talked about and would really like to, to support and move forward with. But also he'll be the, um, the person really overseeing the, the commissioner and the, uh, this position and the zoning and sort of how they all connect in the con, -con. So he'll kind of be the, I see as sort of the liaison between, you know, all that. But that person will be the front, you know, the front end person, similar to how Priscilla is when the people walk in the door, that person will still be sitting there taking building, zoning, um, planning applications. How many hours did you get? Exactly. It's a full time. We're asking for it to be a full That's time. Good, so, because it so hasn't been that currently. Right. So part of the money is to make it a full time position because right now we'd only budgeted for uh, about I think a little on it's we, we usually budget for 2096 and I think we budget for 1900 so we want to bring it right up to the to the full time almost 2100 hours which is the regular nearly four you know 40. Now, I'm just curious now I, I think I'm hearing that Priscilla's leaving Oh, yes, yeah. yes. That's so the piece that's missing here. So yes, so. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. yes. That's okay. <laughs> I figured that. It I thought we like heard it. that at the last meeting, but no, maybe we didn't. No, no, this is the first time I heard about it, so that's okay. Yes. I got so, the idea from everything. Yeah, sorry. There was like this little hole in the middle of the whole conversation that was missing. Yeah, yeah. so Priscilla has given her notice, and she's okay. um, supposed to be leaving this Friday, which I understand she is, but she's agreed to come back. We've got the ad out. We did go ahead and get the ad out. Two more 27. weeks, excuse me, 27. So she'll be here for a couple more weeks and we do have the ad out. Um, we may, you know, we hope to get someone. There may not be a lot of overlap, but she's agreed to come back and, and help, um, you know, and in train the meantime, I'll support your activity. Yeah. All right, so like this, I mean, this posting of the public hearing, that's, right. she used to help she with did. that. Yeah, right. like, so I'll right. make sure that that stuff gets So started. she's the front end for the, the board of health, the, the uh, uh, No, she's the, currently the inspections, zoning. Ins inspections, okay, inspections. Con and con actually, excuse me, not the zoning, that's Pat. Um, the Conservation Commission and the Planning Board. Just the so. Conservation Commission and Planning Board? Yes, not and inspections. inspections. Okay. And, and inspections. No, yes. And oh, inspections. <laughs> and the zoning. Not zoning. Zoning, is, zoning goes into Pat, I believe. Okay, so it's inspections. Um, say it one more time. Inspections. Concom and Planning Board. Correct. Okay. Yes. So anyway, that so that description, you know, so the so it's a little bit fragmented. So we're trying to bring some of that in into place. We are going to because the select board is the board of health. The idea is to sort of you know move that off into uh, okay. this office entirely as much as we can and keep this office land use zoning, you know, building functions, which are all coalesced really into the you know they all. Could you um, I, I just realized also give us an update on the, the building inspector. Yes. So we have so we have a, a new building commissioner, and he has he started um, July first, and he's been in uh, place now for three months, and he's now up to full time. He was he had worked his way up, but now he's full time. Um, he's been doing a wonderful What's job. His name again. His please? name is Robert Walden. Goes by Bob. Goes by Bob. Um, and he's been working. Mike's been working with with Bob a lot. So um, you know he's also. You know, working and helping with some some of those things out in the field, and you know, certainly there's issues. Of, I know you guys have talked about changing bylaws, and um, yeah. you know, we've got some of those on the in the hopper in yeah. terms of the MVP program. We're working with Chris Curtis. You know, he's right. still working yeah. on those, trying to support you. You know, in that respect. Um, 
Right. Now I forget where we're at with that. I know. <laughs> I know. We're so, ready to go. For yeah, so I believe you have yeah. two. We have the floodplain bylaws, I think, that are ready to go. And then the green development are still need yeah. your okay. look. Well, he was running out of money at the last year. So we actually have on the warrant, on the special town meeting warrant, we have another contract for it. We, well, actually, excuse me, we pulled that off the warrant. Um, the finance committee has agreed to give us $3,500 from the reserve fund so that we can have um, Chris Curtis do grant application services for the next MVP round, but also he'll be buttoning up the planning work that he's done with you on the MVP two round, which so, we need to And where we are finish. with that is just we need to start the public hearing. Isn't that, aren't we at that point? Yes, I believe so. Well, I think you did one. Did you do the floodplain? public hearing? I feel like one of them you did a public yeah, hearing. Yeah, we did the full you did. public hearing for the... Um, you did. The floodplain's ready flood to plane. go to, I think, ready to go to town yeah. meeting. Yeah, I've got some concerns on some of that wording in that because we asked, like, smaller brooks impacts and stuff, and I just saw it on where the Blacksmith Brook flooded that, those businesses there, and it would impact those businesses, Old Deerfield. So I have some concerns about some of the wording and yes. how it would affect those pre-existing buildings. So. We haven't seen the revisions. Yeah, I know. Okay. I know. So that's where we are. So okay, so you're not. Exactly. Okay. I don't think so you're you brought up a lot of concerns. I think okay. that that's, because I think that actually some of what we've done is, is very appropriate to those, those pre-existing buildings. Like, they'll be fine what they're going to do with those buildings. That's uh, yeah, where but we put, put they're already there, down. and some I know. of it may make a big difference how they add on, if they do add on or whatever. Right. So, so, but that's that's where the, we put some restrictions on. That's what you're saying. We put some restrictions on. So yes. The question is, but well, we didn't have at that point was the map. weren't we still working? Yeah, and the map. That's what I thought. We you know, were, we were it's kind of stuck on a map. And and then the map, you know, they're saying it's going to get worse. And I've lived by the river my whole life, uh -huh. and I haven't seen flooding, you know, as bad. I don't know the Irene when the the right. Deerfield River that was right. an exception, but. Right. You don't see the river come up. I don't know if they put more flood control in so we don't have as big an impact. All right, I don't we're, going, know. we're going off target. So, I know, but so, I'm just saying. No, this, right. I have some yeah. concerns yeah. about that before yeah. we go to yeah. vote on yeah. it. Yeah. So, I so I think one important thing, too, is I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. Diana. No. Uh, FEMA hasn't updated their flood insurance. That's what we're talking about. Since 1980. That's right. what we're talking about. Right. Right. Which is they should. I will work with the there. federal government to see if where they are in that okay. they've done on the East Coast, they've done the FEMA insurance map update and it's coming up into this area now. Right. Um, I, th I think they are studying it, yeah. but for it's been 40 years where yeah. Yeah, once yeah, those yeah. maps gets up, get updated and people incur the cost more. of insurance, yeah. I think that'll protect a lot of the uh, development going in and encroaching into those areas. I mean, that's essential that the really what drives floodplain right. is everywhere is insurance Absolutely. and FEMA and that map yeah. and, and I, I was surprised that it's been so long and they're in the process yeah. of working on those yeah. they, they had a draft yeah. last year and I think Chris Curtis is I think he looked at some of those we actually had a draft in, in there and one of one of the areas might not there's yeah. a couple different areas right. we're between two rivers okay yes one of the what, uh, river shed they, got it the floodplain area they did so um, if you could so we'll we'll get what we need. What we'll do is so we'll we, get a status update on where you're at with your bylaw. Uh, we had a public hearing. Okay. Those amendments to the floodplain district. Um, and, and you're right. I don't see that we approved it. So I think we must have continued it. I think we did. Yeah, okay. We did. All right. So yeah, we'll pick. There's some revisions, like Max yeah, said. We haven't seen those right, revisions. Right. Okay. So we'll get back. I'm sure Chris is is uh, prepared to come back to you. Is with he those he drafted those? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He's yeah. trying to. So we'll make sure, because he is a consultant working on those things, so. Okay, so let's see. So I touched on the planning board. I touched on the staffing. So, we, so we're so we proposing to add, to make that position full-time and to add it, add additional compensation so that we can have it be a higher grade. And we have drafted a job description, which now we have a full complement of planning board members, we'll, I mean, excuse me, personnel board members. Uh, we will go back you know, we'll go in front of them to grade the position. But in the Good. meantime, the board had agreed that we should move ahead because we don't need to leave, you know, a gap without yeah. Priscilla being here. So we're going to proceed in that respect. 
I've got a question to ask the board. At one time, did we have like somebody from the town staff come in and take minutes and stuff? Sure. So that's, that's what I thought we well, did. That's gonna, this person do this? Well, that's going to be our next question. Is right. like, so what level of yes. services so, and maybe so, are we ready to talk about so that yet? Or I would like to talk a little bit to you about that just in terms of um, you know, certainly what Max said when you, you know, asked about Mike and the involvement in hiring the position. Um, you know, since I've been here at least, um, you know, a year, I have been working with John pretty closely, I think, on trying to get some support for the planning board. And I have gone in front of the finance committee, I don't, I have maybe three or four times to that end. And each time, you know, I, I pretty much get told I, I don't know how to really frame it, but I'm not getting a lot of support. Mm -hmm. Where's the money going to come from? Um, you know, just a, just a lot of not, you know, it's not very supportive. So I think this time um, the planning board still asks those questions. They would like to have you come to their meeting yeah. next week, if you can, or some representation of the board. They're meeting next uh, Thursday Thursdays. to uh, go over the warrant. Um, it would be really helpful if we could get, you know, some feedback from you th if you think it's important to have, you know, staffing and what level of staffing, um, because that's that's a big piece of it. And then um, the other piece is it is on the warrant. So I think the select board is certainly um, committed to trying to get the support, um, you know, getting it to town meeting. So why are we going to? We generate revenue through fees. And then we gotta go ask permission to spend our fee money. So there's two yes. Two different things going well. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. but no, there no, is no, two no, different no, things no. that I think we should talk about. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah, you so you yeah, do so you're not an autonomous board. Um, you're and I don't mean to diminish anything and yeah. if I talk out of line, please let me know. But your volunteers, uh, with very capable backgrounds, I'm sure, but your decisions are advisory. So um, that's really the role uh, I would think you play in staff decisions and, and things like that. Not your decisions on land use matters or anything like that. That's your final vote. But uh, as far as staffing in the town, um, typically that is held to the Board of Selectmen. So, well, so maybe you could explain. Yeah, I, I, my question is explain how it stands in the hierarchy because there's only two elected boards in the town of Deerfield. Three. There's only two. Yes. What's the Assessors. third one? The Assessors. Assessors. That's elected. not a board. What's the second one? Is that a board? Board of Assessors. Yeah. Okay, so then there's, so then there's three. But I, I didn't realize that there was a pecking order amongst those three elected boards. If you're on the Conservation Commission, you're under the selectmen. If you're in the zoning appeals, you're under the selectmen. If you're onto these other board, these other committees, then you're under the selectmen. Right. And as far as I understood, is we were an elected board that was not under the selectmen. Am I mistaken there? No, I'm okay. sorry. Just, However, just no, I misstated that. that. But I guess you, we, we, should, right, we should back up. Yeah. Well, he's talking yeah. about staffing. Yeah, yeah. Staff. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to jump back to sort of how our money flows. So we do generate some some fees, and then we also have that revolving fund. Right, but it's just we um, always got our hand. We always got to go big. Uh, well, actually, in the past, I think starting three or four years ago, we actually knocked down. We used to get ten thousand dollars in the budget, and we didn't use it because most of our work is done with that revolving fund, or like peer review is paid directly by the applicant. Right. right. So we didn't have that many expenses. So when when everybody wants to cut budgets, we said, you know, we have them in using hours, so we cut it down. But that's because Priscilla and other staff is paid out of another budget. So none of our money went to pay them. Right. So we were kind of getting some services without directly paying. And that's paying. Priscilla saying. So I think this is where, sure. Diane, correct me if I'm wrong, now you're saying go to the Finance Committee and say it, it's not even necessarily coming directly to the Planning Board to that position. It's to right. fund that position fully because they help us. Right. Well, there's a couple things. Right? There's a couple things yeah. to your point. I'm, I am asking for there to be, you used to have a contract with Pat Smith for $15,000 right. and set half, about half of it came from fees from peer reviews, from your actual peer reviews, yeah. and, and half came from the town. You act, and I, maybe some of it came out of your revolving account. Well, some um, came from the technical assistance grant that Furcog helped get us. Okay. 
too. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, so that was the other good thing. Because it didn't seem yeah. like, I mean, certainly in the couple of years that I've been here, the accountant yeah. had said that your fees, you know, weren't, weren't covering that. Yeah. So I d your fees may cover it. I mean, you do have that revolving fund, and it is to, to spend to support your administration and your work. But if, if there is a time when it doesn't, and we need to get better on the administrative front end in getting those fees, in mm -hmm. calculating right. those fees. You know we've had trouble in the last year getting those, even getting the peer review money um, timely and getting that. So we have we have to do better on that. So that's all the administrative yeah. you know, work. We and need I have to, to apologize. Well. I didn't realize you were an elected board. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I misstated. Oh, don't spoke. forget that. <laughs> yeah. How, it's a you quiz. Forget it. It's a quiz. How many are there? I saw time? Max looking at me. <laughs> what? But, but as far as <laughs> three, four, and, and we, so I just yeah. want to say to you. To, I was flashbacks to Bernie Kubiak. Yeah. <laughs> to, your, to your point, though, about the minutes, uh, and and to what I was, what my point to say to you about right, yeah. the finance yeah. committee yeah, and right. my yeah. continued, um, you know, approach to them and trying to get you administrative support. And I think Mike is alluding to this as well, is that you're volunteers and you're doing mm -hmm. an incredibly onerous job for this community. Mm -hmm. And in that, this last year alone, you have had so many applications, complex yes, applications from, mm -hmm. from a large corporation to marijuana to solar mm -hmm. to, you know, and then all these little things as well. So it's clear to us as the professional administrative people here on a day-to-day -day basis that you need support yeah. and so we want to get you that support we want your input of course on what that support should be yeah. but but I need your help to an, to the end to say we need it we need that support yeah. to get mm -hmm. that little bit of money we're talking fourteen thousand dollars or seven thousand dollars we're not talking you know, know a lot of money in the big scheme of things yeah. to support the work that you do, which is really important. Yeah. It needs so to be the done. position we're talking about, who actually supervises that person? So right now, the job description says that it's under the administrative direction of the assistant, the building commissioner, and I think the planning board. Is that correct? Does it say the planning board or uh, something to that effect? It, it basically says all three. We're a little concerned about that because it's difficult for one staff person to be responsive yeah. to a multitude well, of right, that. And that's where I'm so, so we believe that mostly, you know, the way I we envisioned it when we created the assistant planning official position was that it would really be the under. assistant position. Right. That 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 person would make sure there's communication between that the staff person, the commissioner, yourselves, yeah. the inspectors, yeah. the board of health, yeah. Yeah. the concom, the zoning. Well, just just a because, little bit of history. Well, we had. You, I, can I can I just. No, because he was in the middle oh, okay. of a yeah, discussion, because, so that's right, why. Yeah, sure. She works out of the building inspector's office, right? And so, you know, you know, okay, it's, do this, do this, and maybe we well, get that, pushed that to the office side. is consolidated to a point where all the records for your no, planning I, I understand, goes in I there. I wonder how you delegate hours and who oversees that. And obviously, maybe we have a slow month or a busy month, mm -hmm. and, and it's going to bounce around. I, right. I, I get that. I think uh, for for a small town of about five to seven thousand people, uh, one person that is qualified can achieve the the function and role of supporting this board, uh, with me and Diana's help, of course, supporting the zoning hearing board and the concom, yeah. and then the every day like you need someone there just for customer service. No, I, I right, and and most of the time. Um, for the, the applications that come in uh, for the planning board or maybe a complicated zoning hearing board application, uh, a pre-meeting with staff yeah. is very helpful. And that's where I think the, the extra money for a professional planner to review this stuff and give you guys a memo yeah. right before the meeting where yeah. you have to contemplate these things yeah. um, that just draws out, here's the deal. This yeah. is what it's asking for. This is what the existing conditions are, the proposed, and then you'll have the neighborhood come out, of course, right. and, and decide as a board yeah. on how you want to deal with that. Yeah. But yeah. you well, need, you like need preparation, yeah. right? Some of my concern was, like you said, that in, I, we all live in town, we all pay taxes, no one wants to see them go up, but 
obviously you got to justify to the finance mm -hmm. board Absolutely. why you're going to do it. And sure. if there's, you know, yeah. work isn't getting done, I guess that's how you do it. That's why yeah. I asked who supervised that. Right. Maybe right. that's a way of trying to get right. some funds. Right. Right. Well, well, let me, I, I mean, I would say too, Roger, part of the, and what I said to the finance committee when they say, where's the money coming from? I mean, um, we have the way that we do our taxation here in Deerfield is very, um, is, is, uh, is, gotten so that we're very conservative and we have done things <laughs> so that, that we can generate <laughs> um, or we end up in in because of that conservative nature generating um, over a million dollars in free cash and we've been doing that for now over a decade year over year over year maybe not a so we million must have every like year millions but of dollars in the bank <laughs> then, huh? well you know you do you do use some you of that money you have a robust money. savings account you do you really have do. robust capital and savings which is an excellent position to be at and you have very low debt service so you're in great position but my point is some of that money and Mike has made excellent succinct points in other meetings that that money was returned by our office for at least the last three or four years because the office was understaffed so we yeah. need to recapture some of that and catch up yeah. um, and also some of that is going to be in, in local receipts just in the management of the administration of the fees like I've said you know, not that I'm saying we're going to do a lot of for enforcement and fines, but there's we can do enforcement. There's things that we need to do in a consistent way across the board, and we need administrative support to make those to things happen. Enforcement, we have that no would, enforcement. Every time we put a condition on, we've always felt like it just please. What's going to happen? Right yeah, now. it's like we don't have, and we're that's not unacceptable. Well, that's from yeah. past history. You can see that happening. Yeah. 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 Uh, and it's, uh, it yeah. is a curse to small town, but at the same time, you'd like to know that something that we're doing, and I, I look at the sugar loaf, I don't know what's, you know, where I'd love to check yeah. in, and I'm not dead sure, so yeah. I will check in with Bob now. And that's the kind of things out. that we'd like to be able to do for you a little more pro. So you're not just like it goes off into yeah. ether, and you're like, oh, what happened? Yeah. I don't, you know, yeah. we yeah. should be able to check back in and say, you know, this, and, yeah. and some of that's just a function of communication and and having enough yeah. robust yeah. staffing right. capacity to, right. to give that information back to you. So getting back to the... No, excuse me. Oh, now I you had something to I say. Go ahead. Go ahead. Him, so <laughs> I'm Step up to, to the mic. I'm waiting to see if you just go right by it and go on to something else. I was hoping to. I hope you were going. going. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Historically, when I first came on the board, we had a person that we paid ten thousand dollars a year. She right. came in and took the notes and the minutes mm -hmm. and did it for our group. Yep. And then that was taken away from us. And then we went to someone. I think it might have been Priscilla, it was Priscilla. who listened to the tapes and did the minutes from the tapes. Right. And, that's and then all of a sudden that was not going to happen, and that's when it she went away. And since then, we've had to take our own notes here. Now, I don't understand why we can't go back a step or two here instead of just taking, you know. I mean, if you're going to put eight to ten thousand dollars in there that we've not been asking for and using, mm -hmm. why can't that money be used to either have somebody listen to the tapes and do it? You shouldn't yeah, have to take your be. own minutes. I agree. This I agree. Is, but what I'm trying to get at yes. is we're going. We're not talking about going back to that point yet. Yeah. I haven't heard that out loud. We, you know what? We can, though, Paul. What, you're absolutely right. With the money that you just talked about and your revolving fund, we can get somebody to do the minutes. And we should sure. because that's part of your decisions. Like a lot of that information, that that contains your decisions. Yep. So Perfect. absolutely, we should have In somebody. In some of those hearings, you, know, you should you trans. should have a sonographer, really. Well, well we yes. have to. But we for like this, the we more complicated from, we land from use decisions. About down to nothing, yeah. then, basically. Yeah. That's. Right. I don't no. see us nothing. Going. We got you. Well, yeah. I know, but that's a no. We are, no, <laughs> yeah. we're looking Very at high adding high administrative high. staff well, and adding does. money to the planning board, and you still have your revolving fund. So I think we can carve some of that money out for uh, to get so your minutes done. We're doing that in our office. We've again, we've asked for not a whole person, but just a little bit of money to carve out so that we can outsource our minutes, and it's working fabulously. And it's a very, it's a small amount of money okay. to get the minutes done, and in, in, you know. So the new person you hired. Would that person go to like the conservation our meetings and take those minutes, or would there be a total different person? Well, I so right now I envision that person supporting the planning board, concom, and the in yeah. They're the going to support us, but are they going to support us at meetings in the evening? At meetings. Okay, so I'll be here. Our, and I they'll think that's be a here. Good thing and, because they'd yeah, be they'll right. Be, yeah. Yeah. Well, I would. Consistent. I would say though, I want to say something. I know. I think we would have a an administ. You know, the commitment is to have like sort of like a person like Mike, I think Mike did a great job tonight in summarizing even just the A&R for you. That's the kind of service, mm -hmm. you know, like he's saying he had a pre-meeting, he reviewed it ahead of time. 
I don't know. I don't know if we can commit the administrative person to be to at be, all of those meetings. We might have to right. do something like you know have them look at the tape and transcribe the minutes. So what I was yeah what I was getting at. I'm sorry to interrupt. It's okay. No, that planning <laughs> consultant, whoever that is, that's going to give you the planning support. consulting, a professional planner that can give you advice. Um, yeah, we'll have to figure out the minutes and yeah. outsourcing them, which they do for the board of selectmen, is not that expensive. Yeah. And to have someone listen to the tape and at least just transcribe what yeah. was said. Yeah, there's two. I guess what I'm saying, Rogers, I think there's sort of two different levels of. Yeah. You know, there's sort of the administrative professional to help you with the sort of planning I, and doing that, yes. and then there's a person to just be right, clerical that's, support right. support. I think that's so the person's that be person, there. we're looking at being a little bit higher level than that. We mm -hmm. want that to be a grade four position to be somebody day to day in the office that can handle things for the commissioners and look at play, you know, look, give, give alerts to, to people, get the agendas going. There's going to be a lot of activities. I'm just not sure that person is also going to be transcribing minutes for all three of those boards. We'll have right. to consider that. But I hear what you're yes. saying about getting your minutes done. And I think that's something we can do, you know, pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. I think, I think Pat may be doing the zoning minutes anyway. I'm not sure the zoning board is doing theirs if Pat's doing their, doing, uh, Pat and Cole doing yeah. theirs, so we'll have to check. But right. Anyway. So. Well, Paul's been, I just want to, having done it a couple of times, it is a pile of work. It is not easy. It removes you from the meeting. Oh, yeah. um, it makes you, yeah, you know, fuss absolutely. about things that nobody else is really listening for because right. you're listening for the big picture. It's a lot of uh, out-of-board work, which... There is a good bit of out of board work, but that's a lot of out of board, out of board work. Mm -hmm. um, so my hat's off to Paul, and I do think that would be a great piece. It's also a really important record keeping for us. Yes. So you know, yes. ultimately, um, and I know I've heard Pat kind of say, "I hey, you know we don't get the meeting." No, it's well, honest to gosh, we know where they are, and we're kind of. It's like one so more step, honestly. That <coughs> if you think who's about currently right, who writes your decisions? Oh. Oh, Pat did. Pat's Pat Smith. Pat Smith. And then, oh, we haven't had one now since. We're, now we're in a bind because when we had to do them, it uh, took a long time. Adam to Costa. Done. And okay. I mean, this can a good back to the finance committee. We need to bring in an attorney to help us write the marijuana yes, ones. Absolutely. Which is a hell of a lot more than having it yeah, took, somebody. It, else. Really, it literally took like six people and yeah. an attorney because mm -hmm. yeah. it just is so much to get so. in there, and we have very robust decisions, which is wonderful. But mm -hmm. you know, it's a lot of information. Sure. The position you're going to advertise for or advertising yes. for, yes. do you have a job description? Yes, it's posted. Yep. Yes. It would be interesting to see what that is. You know, are, is that person going to be a, a planner, a building inspector? No, or? probably not. Okay, uh, well, we've asked for minimum so, qualifications well. of an associate's degree in, in experience, which is, uh, and again, the day-to-day the -day operations of the office really is going to take up a lot of that person's time. So being there, so. right? Customer service, processing permits for Bob, taking in and just following the, the process that's in place for collecting fees, stamping mm -hmm. things in, getting the material Review. collected and distributed, mm -hmm. uh, record keeping. Yeah. Um, managing the peer review, like uh, that's one of the things, like managing the peer review system, you know. Yes. Exactly. It's really an, it's an administrative yeah. position. Chasing them down yeah. who haven't gotten back yes. to us. Yes. But you also need, I believe, professional yeah. uh, advice. Yep. Right. So oh, which you had in the so past. That's different. That's another. Yes. And, right. Exactly. And, that, kind of and, and, and it's not to discount past. any right. any experience that you all have with land use matters, but I think. Just You're having somebody, us, know. I know. Please, <laughs> no. please don't, don't no, try no, no, to. No, 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 no. Really, don't good. get me wrong. Yeah. Yeah. No, please. Yeah. I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong. I, I just think that <laughs> that extra step of just having that extra review at yeah. your hands uh, mm -hmm. and being able to read it before you get there <laughs> yeah. and, and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. Can you tell me so, when the finance so, committee meeting is? Yeah, so it's next Thursday. The 26th. The 26th, correct, at uh, 6 o'clock. John, thank you. At six o'clock. So, six and Diana has asked me on other occasions that I just haven't been able to, and I, I think it is our it's incumbent on us to show up and say yeah. we really need this. You Absolutely. represent you represent us. We appreciate that, but yeah. I think we need to be in front yes, of them. That would you. be very um, important. Yeah. And and I can tell you, it can. I mean, we just came up with all these reasons, and then the other reason is on the backside, the liability. We do something wrong. Right. 
it creates mm -hmm. havoc and right. very expensive. So right. for Absolutely. a little, limited amount of money, it can really be useful. Yes. And Absolutely. as we've seen, well, there were years there when we only had that. I, mean, I, I think that would be the biggest the which one? To have more hours. I mean, it would yeah. be pretty easy to justify. That's why I would say, who supervises this person? If work's not getting done because there's not enough time, mm -hmm. well, that's how you justify it. Yes. Yeah, and, and Priscilla's expressed frustration. Yes. In the hours that she's had <laughs> to do <laughs> things, she's and she just been doesn't. A she's part time too. Yeah. Part time, right. so I, she's going to volunteer yeah. too, and I think yeah. that that you know those are the, those situations are always difficult because if she walks away from it, then it doesn't get done. Right. She does it every thing. Oh, she, I know. She's expected. She's dedicated. Yeah. She puts so, an extra yes. time. Yes. She yes. really she has. has. Yes, and she's and to her credit, I want to give a shout out to her because she's she has been staying. She stayed for a while because of you know because mm. of the new building commissioner and because of your transitions no. and things like mm. that. So she's really um, really tried to be supportive and helpful. So we really appreciate it. So this is fantastic. And, um, and again, having any town staff at our meetings is helpful because we get stuff in the folder, but sometimes there's like a missing thing. And, oh, yeah. and yeah. then it's like, oh, we've got to wait till the, yeah. the next day or the next right. week or the next month. And right. then it's just yeah. those things so, down. So what Mike, I think, is saying so. in the meeting, so for now, he's going to do that. Right. We'll get, we'll secure your money. We'll see how things work out with the COG, you yep. know, and he'll be there to support yep. you. But we've got, you know, he's also, um, like I said, he's going to coordinate that those things, but we also have yeah. like a ton of, you know, oh, stuff sure. to do as well. So. But if next time you talk to Peggy, just ask her about that technical assistance grant, because I think two or three years we got, they were able to kind of apply. We just have to say we're on board and oh, it was like okay. 10 Typical, grand or like, something. You know, having yeah. somebody to help yeah. you do the thing. To do well, that, Peggy? that the would be, back. she's Peggy the Sloan director at the, at the, at the for for Cock. Cock. For, for Cock. One yeah. of the things too, so, so I'd like to, um, as we transition with staff, I just said to Mike, I think we need to get, you know, certainly, cert with you, remember how we, you and Pat and I think, I can't remember if it was Connor, but we had a meeting, that was really helpful, yep. but we should just make sure yep. we have a whole list of, you know, where you're at, we gotta get on top of where you're at with your bylaws. Um, we should, you, there's other bylaws, John, remember you guys were looking at? And we got them on this, okay, yep. so. And some of these go back, to that kind of temporary building inspector we had exactly. who actually wrote That's up some good things about yes. accessory departments and we now and, we have to go back and, and revisit that. And the reason I'm mentioning is because Bob okay. is, I find, I would expect running into some things yep. that he's um, identified and, mm -hmm. and him and Mike have been talking about So I think if we that, get so. Bob and you at a meeting, we could crank out, we could get through some of these things that we've been talking about for a long mm -hmm. time. Yes. Um, and then and then we have to fit into our current, bylaw. we're not trying to create new ones as much as Right. right. Revise the ones that we have. Yes, Before it would be uh, you leave, get my card so that All you right. have my information. All right. I'll Good. give you my cell phone number too so that if you need to get in contact with me in the interim while we're transitioning, please right. please reach out to me. Um, All right. Well, so we're trying to make progress you. here for you guys and support you. So actually, why don't you stay for a couple more minutes if you can? Because so our, our um, so Anne Mary is our newest member. And I'm. Well, uh, let's not say who's the oldest, but who's no. absent? Is there someone absent? Kip. 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 Uh, so, um, and there must be another. So I've been the chair for a long time. We have a chair, a vice chair, which is now <laughs> Rachel, um, and a clerk. I think those are the only three kind of positions. Mm -hmm. And so what we've been doing, and there's a lot of emails between staff, it, often it's between me and you guys, but I put these two on it to CC mm -hmm. them. And, and so there's always someone else on the board. But we don't want to add all seven of us because that becomes a sort right. of that public uh, yep. nuisance, whatever you call it. Thing. Yep. Um, and so the question is, um, well, we want to get Ann Mary more, more involved, too. She doesn't. I don't know if that's what she was well, telling. One of, one of the things <laughs> is that the, there are, there are council not. workshops, too, that we, if Paul's sent me to one, that they're very helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there is training opportunities training available. Well, there's training. For, yes. But what I'd like also is that all of us kind of have some responsibilities. Okay. That's kind of where I'm going with this. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times it, it, it falls to the chair, and every year when they elect me chair, I say I'm happy to facilitate the meetings and even maybe pre prepare the agenda, but I don't want to do everything. Yeah. And so... Um, when there's a lot, when there's not much to do, it's an A and R, no big deal. But when there's a bunch of things going on, okay. so I would like to see all of us kind of, kind of step up. And then if you guys know who it is, then that person can interact with you. Right. One thing I found helpful in my experience with other planning boards is, uh, as new applications come in, not small ones, but more complicated land development and site review processes, yeah. that you elect 
uh, subcommittee of yourselves every month it rotates that uh, those people are assigned just to go out and look at it right and give a report to the rest of the yep. board because people well, don't have time to go out as but as I think uh, interacting with the physical environment of where people are proposing stuff can really give you great insight yeah, into uh, what's going on out there so um, that it's like a site review subcommittee whatever you want to call it it's not uh, has to be a bylaw or anything like that. It's just an assignment that yeah. rotates where people can go out, look, and just write a brief email or memo to mm -hmm. the rest of the board prior to the meeting or hearing, giving what their observations are. We haven't done that in a long time, and we rely on maybe drive by during the week well, sometime. But we also we, have we done that kind of informally, like who can go. I, mean, I know, but I then we don't the, kind of, yeah. yeah but we well, all of us have different perspectives. Like that That's so, thing. you know what? I'll be very honest. I have mine and they have theirs. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you, know, well, you can still look. <laughs> and, and, I would ask, and I would ask that that report be completely subjective. Right, so that's what I'm it's saying. just, it's you know, not a. Pick it's, three people. You mean objective? It could be no, just the way they yeah, feel, you know, <laughs> so I don't know if I really want that. Really? If we look at a piece of land, do you think we'd look at it differently? If three of you went out, you, you couldn't know write that, a sub, an objective report, the three of you, three people. And you're just yeah, sure. commenting on I the know. closeness of neighbors, the, exactly. the distance from the, <laughs> yeah. right, but the, it's, it, it's it can factual. be an objective, <laughs> factual report. And just keep your mind to that and not put in your, like, I know that dude, he's not going to like it. <laughs> right, uh, that, that should go in the report, yeah. <laughs> which sometimes it does. Um, is, is, April 6, 2010 zoning map. I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Well, no, because we've had a couple of overlay districts since yeah. then. Oh, yeah, we did. I don't think, I don't think like, RA has changed or things no, like that. But yeah, so one thing we're working on with our intern, Alex, Alex. is uh, an now update to the zoning map yeah. that lists the dates where overlay was enacted and all these different changes took place. So as you see the color coding, you know exactly in the hashing what the date is on it. Yeah. So there's a, there's a historical narrative yeah. about how the zoning changed yeah. and when. And that's pretty easy for us to research uh, to just, so that when you look at the zoning map, and he's looking at it, 2010, no, but there's that's these revisions right. that happened over the years. Mm -hmm. And it's just a simple date next to the, the color-coded zone or overlay district that'll inform you about how the zoning changed over the years. And does, that, does that have the, ex, the uh, ex, you know, the expedited? Expedite this, no. Oh. EPD, yes. So that's, so, that's, wow. so that's after 10, I think. No, no. Expedited no, district is not the marijuana overlay. No, no, but I'm just EPD, trying to say, yes. we did the expedited uh, thing there, but it went, would get something up into yeah. the time frame. 2010, that's fine. Is that what yeah, you've done so in 10? Yeah. I should let okay. you know that too, John. <laughs> just, just for information purposes, since you mentioned that, Paul, you, on the warrant, we do have an article to purchase back the New England Natural Bakers property. So um, the New England Natural Bakers um, has decided to not um, come to Deerfield and set up their facility. So in the uh, purchase agreement, we had right of first refusal on that. So the board had voted to exercise that right. And that was the reason why we um, you know, rapidly called the special town meeting for September 30th. So I kind of got that, that, that in there. mind when I saw them dumping blacktop and stockpiling materials back out there again. And without owning the property, I wondered how they were doing that. Right. And then actually, just speaking of that, I got an email about Pilot Precision Products. We've been invited to a... Yeah, their house. open house, I think. Open that's house. Dumont. Everybody get that is that or? Dumont? Is that yeah. Dumont yeah. Corporation? Yeah. yeah. So that is a different name, so it's that. Dumont. Yeah, all right. So that's um, September, that? Monday, September 23rd. 23rd. We were all invited to that. at uh, What time, John? 4 to 5 is a tour of the facility, 5 to 5.30 is a ribbon cutting with photo opportunities, so you should be yeah. there. <laughs> and then 6 p.m. dinner. Where you talk. Dinner. Dinner. Now, John, you should be, be careful. That. There's probably some big holes over there. <laughs> you you got right in the middle of that <laughs> lot there where it's throw me right into one. through. There's a big sinkhole. <laughs> um, so that's, okay, thanks for that update. Um, they probably have some furnaces also, don't they? <laughs> so, um, 
So Alex, I, I have read your thing, so I want to get back to it, but um, this is exactly what we need. Yeah, you know, he did a good job. It's pretty he, comprehensive. Uh, he he sat around this thing. It's really trying to pull it into a few pages, a customer around, service kind of right. thing. He sent Rachel and me first, and then oh. we gave input, and then it'll come around to all of us. But it's a, it's like for someone walking into the door and they say, "I want to build a house." They, you, you, this is what you need to do. You want to build a building somewhere. This is what you have to do, in in a language people can understand. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, and and then also it says things like. Sometimes when it involves zoning board and planning board, we'll try to do a joint meeting. And we've done that a couple times that's worked. We've done some joint meetings with the CONCOM. And it's, with it's the worked. CBA. And with the ZBA. So we always want to do that when we can. Um, and I think also having, you know, administrative staff that is working with all of yeah. those will help to coordinate exactly. that effort. Exactly. So. Yep. Excellent. So what else do we, uh, what else do we want to talk about here? Well, well, I guess the question that I had in my email was if your, but your we, issue was that right. no one had called a meeting when right. you weren't around, right. so how do we do that? Who does that? Who's in charge? I did. So I would say the vice chair should be the yeah. next. That's how come we have one tonight. All right. Well, <laughs> I mean, otherwise we'd be still slipping along. Well, if you I, can I really, I missed the last meeting. Are you going to set up a, a, go back to yeah. your monthly meeting? I missed the yeah. last meeting, so I really wasn't sure. Right. This so. wasn't the date that was on the tape. And I didn't watch the whole tape. I just watched to the end. What works best dates, for everybody is our Mondays at 7. I think they were doing the first the same, time. The yeah, same regular date yeah, of the seven. month. Is right. The first right. Monday of every month. That's, pretty, that's, you, why do we have it on Monday? It's being a holiday. Yeah. And oh, then really? we have to change Why do we have it on Tuesday or Wednesday? Yeah, and then it because I have other plans on Tuesday. Well, I know. Well, no, I mean, historically, it's been Monday. And as people join the board, it's almost like you kind of have to expect that. I think it's almost better to. I plan all my other stuff around Monday. I know. Maybe another day would be another day would be better. So when a, when a Monday's a holiday it would be it does throw things Wednesday off. or yep. Tuesday, or something. and that's when that's when it usually messes things up. When okay. the, and that's, that's what happened in September. Right. Okay. And then we go to the sometimes we go to the next Tuesday, sometimes we go to the next Monday. Roger can't often make the second Monday because he's got something else. So it gets to be we're we gonna have a quorum. Mm -hmm. uh, not anymore. I mean Mondays we get we I mean this is actually a good board. We usually get. Yeah. Six or seven people. Once in a while we get five. It's, it's been very rare when we don't get a quorum. Yeah. Mondays, like you said, holidays, people go away. That's why I'm just saying maybe Monday isn't the best well, day. We can't meet on holidays. What's that? Right. We're no, not allowed. That's what he's saying. Right. It doesn't matter. So so what he says, we get messed up. The week, the holiday is at least two or three times a, a yeah. year we oh, get okay. messed up. I said they do do, I mean, going away. It's just go away. Sometimes. No, he's talking about yeah. Mondays being a holiday. Oh, okay. yeah. I'm not saying we have to do it. Just think about it. Well, you, I, yeah. Who wants? To, I, I, to me, it, my problem is that the, that's how my it's pinned in. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, in fact, even going to the second Monday today, I had to the sit down and organize my Monday. mom to do something else because I'm with her on the second Mondays. Of, you know, it's like every, yeah, every my third Tuesdays Wednesday I'm with her. The, 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 so, I think, so, I think if we hold it, I think we don't change it. I'm just. I think if the the tricky part of the holidays, and we're going to bump into the, we won't bump into it in until. January. January. Yeah. January. And we'll bump into it for sure in January. So for the rest of the year, you think uh, October, November, November, December, first yeah. one? Well, all right. And what about, no, we don't we yeah. finish that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then the thing is, we also have had, uh, we've had, over the last, I would say two years at least, we've had a couple of months every year, three months every year, when we've had two meetings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We haven't, we haven't mm -hmm. just stuck to well, that. That's part of it. Sometimes when you get busy, you've got to do that. I no, yeah. absolutely. And, and I'm in. I'm just saying that that's when it's really nice, when it's Monday, because at least I'm, I don't have to. You get in someplace else. That's all. It's kind of nice. It's consistent. Consistent. So it works good for you. Maybe not works. for everybody else. I don't know. That's why I just posed the question. Yep. Right. It works best for me. Uh, vote. Mondays. Mondays good. Mondays good. Yeah. Mondays good. Mondays good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll that. keep it Mondays. A seventh. Okay. But it's good to re review, review yeah. it once in a while. Okay, so, so next meeting, October 7th. October 7th. Sorry. That's okay. So and my job is to tell I Priscilla. That's I my think, job. <laughs> yeah. I think we should lock them in. Can we just lock them in for October, November, and December? Sure. Just let's do that. And okay. then, yeah. okay, just so we, let's have okay. those. So, and then if you need additional to do other stuff, but. So let's say the first month of every month, sort of forever. No, she's saying but lock then, in the dates. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So the seventh, the fourth, but we should plan seventh. ahead for January or whatever the months where we know it's coming. Right. Yeah. Because that's what we don't do good at. Yes. We don't yeah. Yeah. I suggest that all the yeah. 
town meetings be on a calendar? Yeah. Yes. And if you have to reschedule them, you ours reschedule always, them, or you cancel them, and, and you need right. to do what so you need to Mike, do. Mike, ours is just always on the first Monday, yep. right. unless it's changed. Yeah. So it's October 7th, November 4th? Our next, our next meeting December is going to be in December 2nd. The right. Okay, then the next one's going to be in November. The 4th? Yep. Let's see what that is. Sunday, Monday's the 4th, so we have that. Planning board. January 6th. There's a lovely app that tells you exactly when. Ah, great. And even the 6th of January is fine. See? You know, so. All right. Great. Okay, so I think it's, it's actually all these monies are looking really good. So November the fourth. <laughs> yeah, but then there'll be a special. There'll be something. Uh, so it's good for several months. All right. We'll lock okay, in your so agenda for six months. November the fourth, and what's no. our December date going to be? First one. The seventh. Just a minute. Just don't, don't be December a bugger. December second. Don't be a bugger. Just be a. You got it. You got it. I got it. December second. Second. December second. Okay. Repeats. I got it. Anybody every month. First month. Who said that? Me. You did. Oh, you don't even have email. What are you talking about? Yeah, well, I do can you, figure out what the first Monday of the month is. Actually, that uh, is an issue, Roger. You ought to be able to do email. We send you emails, but it bounces back. Do you get yeah. them? <laughs> do you get them? Yeah. Look at have that you just, you're just passing the rest of it. Not not the mayor so do we have to do a mailing to you? So they're going to hear that on the 7th. Yeah. Oh, and then that's there that's is a solar He's here. revision right. for interconnection. Second Monday. Which they can third. You know, third Monday. Those plans, so I'll submitted. call you sometimes, John. But you I know you do, and I'm like, <laughs> how did you get my cell phone anyway? Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> and so before you adjourn, I just have some uh, order of business. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't want you to know. <laughs> so, uh, Dollar General, I have an update for you. Um, so, I talked to Adam Costa. He's representing the town uh, regarding the pending litigation of Dollar General's appeal to the planning board in the town for the denial. And right now it's in uh, a negotiation kind of status. And they want to meet within the next seven to 10 days, so possibly late September, early October. And Adam has asked that two representatives of the planning board be involved in that uh, meeting to look at some of those. Right, I don't know if we're uh, supposed to talk about Are we supposed to talk about this in detail? I'm just wondering if this is an executive session or not. Yeah, because I think we're in negotiations, so I don't know if we're supposed to talk about the details of it. Not the details, okay. but just, no, I just want two people. volunteers right. to come to a meeting. <laughs> That's Sorry. all we got to talk about. Where's yep. the meeting going to be? Uh, it'll be either here in Deerfield or possibly uh, in, in Worcester. I think when we had this discussion prior, we said it should be here. I agree. So let's just make it here. Yeah. Okay. I'll volunteer to be here. Okay. Go ahead. I volunteer. So Rachel and Paul. Oh, no. And Mary, no. And Mary. So I'm sorry. Did I hear Rachel or sorry. Anne Marie? She has no card. Mary. You have no card. I had been. Um, I've been involved with Adam, and I. I thought at one point we said that the. The chair would try to attend these too. It's up to you guys. Just let me know. You don't have to decide now. Just I'm going to give you my card. I think three is good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Two actually. He asked. Yeah. Because I know. Because there's going to be a select board member, and then the attorneys and staff. And we should have a pre-meeting before that. And this will be yeah. during the daytime hours, or it'll be evening hours. I would believe it would be. Uh, business hours. Business hours, okay. Um, I don't, I think, John, aren't we still just um, having the initial meeting after the executive session we already had? I mean, is there, I don't think there's really been, isn't this still the first? Yeah. Right? So when you said you needed a pre meeting, I mean, I'm, I think we had already. Well, it's been a little while. I just want to. Just want to do an, okay. Make yeah, sure we got the update that, out, that Adam has all of our. Okay, all right. Just, you know, this was kind of our. Stuff. The issues to address. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay, all right. So, but you don't have a date. Is that what you're saying? So I don't have a date, but he asked that just for scheduling purposes only. And why I ask you tonight um, is just that you talk among yourselves and you uh, put forth two names who you want to represent you at that meeting. So I'm. I'd like. I'd like to continue with this. Um, and you said you would too? Yeah. 
And you weren't, you weren't here for that, right? Correct. All right. But you said you wanted to be? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Adam and I had talked about it a little bit. I don't know if I'm supposed to talk about that here or not. Well, we should just to decide who the two people are. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't have thought you would be the most appropriate because you weren't here during the process. So. Right, and that was sort of why we thought it might be a good idea because if it, there are any sort of leftover feelings or whatever, that there would be a fresh set of eyes on it. I, I think that, and, it, and if a three is not a quorum, then I think that can be accommodated probably. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, I would not say that you'd be appropriate because um, I think it, I think you need to know we went through a lot of stuff there, yeah. and I, I just think it makes sense to have people who went through it all. I can see your point, John, and I can see Anne Marie Mary's also. Well, like it would be a fresh set of eyes, so it'd be like. Okay, she's not, you know, impartial one way or the other, but I understand where you're coming from too. So what we went through and what we discussed, she wouldn't have that knowledge, but it would be a fresh set of eyes to look at these new conditions. So Well let's see if we can get the three and, Yeah, and, and then it's got a lot of it's coming on the dates too for, for all and then, of us. So. And then if it's during a business day too, that's another Yeah. All right. Are you interested? Only if one of these don't want to do it. So if it is business hours, mornings but or afternoons, involved, what's yeah. better? Mornings are mornings are pretty mornings. good, but uh, uh, you know, depending on the day. Most I know of the every time. day. Is, uh, yeah. Right. And you, this, do you have certain times you could or you couldn't, or? I can work my schedule around it. Yeah. Yeah, because this is going to be like one, maybe two days at the most to, to do it. That's as I understand it, right? The initial meeting would be just be that. It would be a couple hours. Okay. All right. Well, that's why don't you put Anne, Mary, Paul, and me? Okay. And I know I'm not sure what Kip's opinion is, but he's not here, so. Any other business not anticipated 48 hours ahead of time? Good. We've already set our date for the next meeting. Yep. So okay, next meeting is October the seventh. Good for an adjournment. Okay. Move to adjourn. Mayor. Second. And.